the complete package that we have and then there are various chapters okay so there are eight chapters in this book altogether and today we were discussing chapter number three so in chapter number three for example we have uh, nine very easy questions and then we have seven questions of medium difficulty and three questions of very high difficulty so what I do is I can choose okay uh, I'll just choose the easy option for our today's quiz and I will set to maximum number of questions to five okay I can assign four marks for correct answer and one mark will be deducted for negative for wrong answer and I can also set the duration of the quiz maybe I set it to five minutes okay so it's kind of a quick quiz so I save it and then we start so before we start we have to enter the name of the student so let's say it's uh, Praveen Kumar uh, some roll number okay so this is the kind of a quiz that the uh, instructor can administer to the student and now you see the quiz starts so it uh, has a low starting talk and then for this question I it's possible that I do not want to answer it so I just skip the question and go to the next question and then here we have the another question which is about the relative permeability so I just go to the I choose option A and then eventually I go to my next question and then here we these are all the questions which are related to the chapter number three that we have in our ebook so it's all the uh, the entire chapter three we have not covered the entire chapter three so far so here for this question number four I choose an option C and then for this question number five I choose I'm sure you all must have figured out the right answer okay so I just choose option number A and then it shows that I have finished my quiz and this is the analysis so out of five questions I answered two correct and I answered a uh, two wrong and one I did not attempt which one can see not attempted so the total marks that I scored is six and this is also uh, there's also an interesting feature about this quiz actually the answer script of the quiz is saved okay and one can do even the analysis of that so the answer script is saved here in the C drive Q bank so I just open it and I read the file so here all the four five questions that we have set in the quiz are there and here you can see the analysis okay so the correct answer for this question was B but I has I had marked A and this question was from chapter 3 obviously so if you have mixture of chapters then it would also mention from which chapter which question was asked so this analysis will also then help the instructor to find out what are the weak areas of the student and this would be a very interesting uh, feature to analyze the performance of the student so now actually I would open the floor for any kind of a discussion please do let me know your queries and questions and also give me the feedback for the entire webinar I would be more than happy to have a discussion with you we actually have 10 minutes left after 10 minutes the webinar will automatically disconnect itself so maybe let's utilize the time and have a discussion So maybe I think I can start one by one. Uh, Dr. Bhatt, what is your feedback? So uh, what was your overall impression about the webinar and the, and the entire uh, uh, graphics and animations and so on that you saw? Please do give your feedback. You can even type down your opinion. <clears throat> so any feedback? Maybe Mr. Rajput, what is your opinion or feedback about it? 
about today's webinar. Can you hear me, sir? Excuse me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can, can hear, you hear you. Me, sir? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, sir, I am attending first time. Uh, okay. I am seeing the procedure of uh, webinar. Yes. Then uh, 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 on the display, I have seen a okay some diagram, some for a, some expressions, mm -hmm. expressions which are involved in uh, single single excited testing. Mm -hmm. I think it is it is uh, very interesting to see. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, hopefully it is very helpful for us because I am a lecturer in an engineering college. Okay. And uh, hopefully it is very helpful to teach the students better way in a better way. Okay, that's yeah, that's good to hear. And uh, have you attended the entire webinar today? Not today, only today. Oh yeah, but you saw the entire webinar. Uh, I'm fine. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your feedback. So, uh, may I know your name, please? Ashok Kumar. Okay, Mr. Rajput. Thank you. Thank Hello. you very much for your feedback. Ashok Kumar. Ashok yeah. Kumar. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Naveen Sharma, do you have any feedback or comment for us that would really help us a lot? Anything that you would like to share f with us? Anything that you would like to know? So your feedback would be very valuable. Yeah, I, I think I should, I got a query from Upendra, uh, it's about whether it covers the syllabus of the university. Yeah, the first course that we have developed is on AC machines, so I think it covers uh, most of the courses in most of the universities. And the important thing is that we have laid a lot of emphasis on the fundamentals and not just clearing the university exam. To clear the university exam, I think one can get five, six years question papers and then clear it. That's not a big deal. The important thing is to understand this subject in depth so that the students eventually become employable in the industry. So clearing the university exam is actually not the major focus that we should have. It should be rather to train these students to such an extent that the industry is more than happy to employ them. That's what we are trying here through this. Uh, entire learning, e-learning environment that we have created. So the entire uh, philosophy of it was to give a more real life feel to the electrical machines and not make it a boring textbook uh, which is rather not engaging for the students. So are there any more queries? We have actually a couple of minutes left so if you would like to share your thoughts then please do so. Any suggestions, any comments you would like to have? <coughs> Okay, so if there are no comments then I would like to thank you all for attending the webinar 
and looking forward to see you in the next webinar which will be held in the month of September. So I once again thank you all and have a good day. Thank you.